So, you've heard living in Vietnam is cheap, right? Well, not until you move to Ho Chi Minh City. Hi everyone, it's Van Vu from Vietnam. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how much I spend a day to live comfortably here in Ho Chi Minh City, one of the largest cities in Vietnam. I'm gonna show you the breakdown and the real number of my housing, transportation, food, according to my activities in the whole day. I did a video about cost of living in Hanoi in the previous video and I'm gonna leave the link above for you to check it out. Also, if you want to learn more about Vietnamese culture, food, hidden gems, don't forget to follow my social media at Van Vu from Vietnam and check out my website at whatthefuvn.com. Alright, let's start my day from the morning. I'm staying in a two-bedroom apartment which is located in the heart of Ho Chi Minh City. So I pay 1,000 US dollars per month which is $33 per day. I did a room tour in the previous video and explained why I chose this apartment. I'm gonna leave the link for that video above so you can check it out. On top of the rent, I pay 50 US dollars per month for electricity and $5 per month for water and $50 per month for service fees. So it's almost $4 per day for utilities. For the internet, I pay $20 per month, which is 66 cents per day. I eat breakfast at home and I eat pretty much the same thing every day, just oatmeal, fruits, Greek yogurt, and soy milk, and it's $3 per day. Now I'm gonna change to go to the gym. It's raining, so I have to book a Grab car, which cost me $3 from my apartment to the gym, and the distance is about 4 kilometers. I pay 65 US dollars per month for this gym because it has everything I need from yoga class, treadmills, weights, pool, jacuzzi bath, and even sauna room. I want to level up my health this year, so it's a good investment. Gym prices in Vietnam can range from $20 to $100 per month. Okay, looks like it stopped raining. Now I'm gonna catch a Grab to eat cơm tấm sườn. For transportation, I use Grab, B, Gojek interchangeably. However, if you plan on driving in Vietnam, you can rent a motorbike for $50 US dollars per month, and I highly suggest you to get travel insurance. You can easily buy your Nomad insurance through Safety Wing, an insurance company built for nomads by nomads. Safety Wing will cover you for riding a moped as long as you have the required documents to ride in Vietnam, wear a helmet, and are not intoxicated. You can start and stop anytime, and the nomad insurance is only $42 per month. In case of emergency, you can chat with an actual human within 5 minutes 24-7 on their website. To save some expenses on the cost of living in Saigon, follow the link in the description box and sign up for your insurance today. Today, I have broken rice with caramelized ribs and eggs, cơm tấm sườn, which is a must-try when you visit Ho Chi Minh City. The whole plate is $2 and I think I'm gonna be full until the next morning. It's a lot of food and it's so delicious. Now, I'm gonna go to a coffee shop to do some work. I ordered Bac Siu, which is Vietnamese milk coffee. It's lighter and sweeter than a traditional Vietnamese condensed milk, cà phê sữa đá. I pay 1.5 US dollars for a cup of Bac Siu and $1 for a croissant. Did I say it right? <laughs> I pay $5 per month with 2 gigabyte a day for my phone service. I barely use it since Wi-Fi is everywhere in Vietnam. The carrier I use is Viettel and I use Zalo to call people for free as long as I have Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm gonna be a responsible adult so I'm gonna go shopping now. Today, I spent $25 for my grocery shopping. I got 500 grams of chicken wings for $2.3, broccoli $1.2, banana 90 cents, soy milk $1.2, Greek yogurt $3.3, half dozen of eggs $1.1, blueberries $6.3, toilet paper $5, and detergent $6. With inflation, Comment down below how much does it cost to buy a dozen of eggs in your country. Because you know, I obviously can just afford half a dozen of eggs now. 
I try to cook dinner at home as much as I can to save money, since eating out in Ho Chi Minh City is quite expensive. So today, I'm gonna make air fried chicken roll with oatmeal and cornflakes. Super easy to make, and the whole meal only cost me four dollars. I realized most of my money will go to nightlife because I usually hang out with my friends to watch comedy shows or to have a couple of drinks. And yeah, my friend drove me home for free. Thank you, mate. Okay, so the total for today is seventy-one sixty-eight dollars per day, which is two thousand one hundred and fifty U.S. dollars per month. To live comfortably here in Ho Chi Minh City. One heads up is that the services in Ho Chi Minh City, such as massage, haircut, uh, nails, eyelashes, etc., will be more expensive than in Hanoi or Da Nang. For me, living here in Ho Chi Minh City is twice as expensive as living in Hanoi. It's not only because of the rent and the services are more expensive than in Hanoi, but also the lifestyle and the location that I choose my apartment to be in does affect my cost of living in Ho Chi Minh City. So it really depends on your lifestyle, your occupation, and the location that you choose where to live. So for example, when I live in Hanoi, I live in Dong Da District, which has a lot of local people, not many events going on there. So that's why I spend less money um, into the nightlife. But in Ho Chi Minh City, the purpose of me being here is to connect and network and find the environment that I can improve my health. So that's why I pay more for gym membership, my rent, and the nightlife. So yeah, it really depends on your lifestyle and your purpose of living and working in Vietnam. So for example, if you are a business owner or an investor and you want to come to Vietnam to broaden your network and do business. I suggest you to live in Ho Chi Minh City. If you love to explore the culture, history, politics, hidden gems, you should go to Hanoi. Last but not least, if you love nature and you want a laid-back lifestyle, I suggest you to live in Hoi An or Da Nang. It has an affordable cost of living there as well. I'm gonna make a video about the cost of living in Da Nang, so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell so that you'll be notified for that video. Thank you so much, guys, and I hope this video is helpful for you, especially those of you who want to come to Vietnam to live and work here. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. All right, I'll see you one. <sighs>